Today we're going to be looking at the cam shield for the Nikon 500 PF 5.6 lens. The cam shield is a way to protect and camouflage your lens. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll go through step by step how to attach the cam shield to the Nikon 500 PF lens. You can also just click the timestamp below if you want to jump directly to it. The cam shield consists of four silicon parts for the inner parts of the lens and three thermoformed EVA foam parts for protection and camouflage. The cam shield also comes with a specially designed lens cap, which is held in place with a strap and clasp. You can attach the lens cap underneath the lens and use it as a support when you're shooting at ground level. The EVA foam is four millimeters thick and together with the silicon helps protect the lens from knocks and scratches. The cam shield gives a full cover of the lens so to avoid paint abrasion and scratches. If you ever want to resell the lens, it's just going to hold its value a lot better if you keep it in perfect condition. There are four versions of cam shields available. There's the spring camo, understory all season camo, brown and white. All the cam shields have been treated with water repellent which helps to protect them from the elements. All the buttons on the dials can be used through the silicon which is both soft and strong. It's also very resistant to changes in temperature. We got four silicon parts, and then we got three of these more camouflage covers that's going to be on the front part of the lens. As you can see, these silicon bits are really stretchy, so they'll go around the tripod color. Uh, when you're putting these on, so you, you know, just pick up the silicon bits and have a look at them, see how they line up, and you'll get a feel for which one you have to put on first um, and thread over. So you want to line up the. Um, the little window here which is slightly thinner silicon with the switches that are on the lens go through the tripod color and then just stretch it around you just jiggle it all the way in feed it through and you line it with the little windows with the with the switches and the little window that's there for the measuring or the focus distances as well so now that you got it through, it's just about you know, making small adjustments so that it fits. And you have the windows over the switches and dials here, where exactly where you want them. So I just need to rotate a little bit, making small adjustments as I go. So that's one down. Um, we'll get the next one, and that's the one that actually has the opening for the tripod collar. 
you see here, quite easy to get straight on. And then an opening here for the yeah, tightener here on the side. So again, making small adjustments, feeding it through, aligning it with the silicon that you already have on here. There we go. Now we can do the small little one here. And again, just making small movements with your fingers, just kind of kneading it in, because it does, it really fits and molds around exactly what you have here. And it's nicely made exactly for the dimensions of the lens. So then we have the last one on here. There we go, so that's the four silicon parts, the lower end of the lens. So as you can see here, there's a Velcro and an opening here for all the dials that you have on the lens. So you can still reach them. So then we just align the whole opening here with the dial so you can see through the silicon here. Line it quite tight and that the Velcro is shut again. And you can see here as well, we can access focus ring underneath these. And they both come up and you can attach them to each other. And then they're out of your way. You can reach all the dials through the silicon. You can still feel the buttons here and you can move them about you need to. And as you can see here, we'll align it with the cam shield logo here as well, uh, with the Velcro on the hood camouflage cover. So now that, now you align the Velcro with this Velcro, the button for releasing the hood is actually just underneath here, so you know where it is. They can get it off and on. There we go. And then, last part actually comes with a hood as well to protect uh, the front of your lens. So, if you want to walk around with it like this, put on the hood. And comes with a little clip tightener. And that clip is there so that if you want to take this hood off, actually use you can put it underneath you just loosen the strap put it underneath tighten it so now you can actually have that on and you can use this a little bit of support when you're lying down for photography not only does this camouflage your lens it's actually shockproof as well there's a four millimeter foam lining within these so it actually you know, it gives you a little bit of extra protection because you accidentally bang your lens into things then this helps protect it and also if you're lying it onto you know surfaces or out in nature you might want to leaning on a rock or something like that having this extra bit of powder protection is just going to help you out so much to protect your gear so the cam shield is built using less individual pieces to prevent dust from getting into nooks and crannies on your lens so the Nikkor 500 has got four custom function buttons around the lens here I can feel it gives it a bit of resistance. I actually feel that I'm pressing it right now. If you can't remember exactly where they are, you may want to leave a little bit of mark or something like that. But just feel around to get used to pressing them through this. So that was the cam shield for the Nikon 500 PF lens. If you want to get a hold of any of these cam shields or any of the other products, check out our website, photographyblinds.com for the US and Canada. And it is Tragopan Dash Shop for Europe and the rest of the world. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.